For many Christians, it can be a little depressing to see how commercialized Christmas has become. But you know, I'm not one of those glasses half empty kind of guys. I say, take that glass and fill it with wassail and raise it to Christmas. Some may try to secularize this holiday by turning it into some kind of a generic winter celebration. But almost everything you see at Christmas has a Christian tradition attached to it. It's not about pagan rituals. It's the most amazing time of the year. It's about charity to the poor, celebrating family, being a light to the world, and giving gifts. Santa Claus, the jolly secret gift giver, is popular in America and Europe by many other names, but his origin comes from Saint Nicholas, one of the early Christian church fathers. Very little is actually known about the life of Nicholas. We do know that he was the Bishop of Myra in Lycia, Asia Minor. He was imprisoned under the persecution purge of the Roman Emperor Diocletian, but was released when Emperor Constantine came to power. There are numerous legends about Nicholas's secret gift giving to the poor. In one story, Nicholas provides a dowry for a poor man's three daughters by dropping three small purses filled with gold coins through an open window. He died and was buried in the middle of the fourth century. The expansion of Islam in the seventh century led to its domination in Asia Minor. Apparently concerned about the possibility that the bones of Nicholas might be desecrated, Christian crusaders moved his bones to a church in Bari, Italy in 1087. His bones are still there today. Saint Nicholas is venerated by Christians around the world and was probably inspired by the most famous biblical story of gift giving. That story is of course the Magi that brought gifts to the Christ child. The nativity scenes that are still so popular today can be traced back to St. Francis of Assisi. It was during the Christmas season of the year 1223 that Francis decided that he wanted to celebrate the nativity, quote, in a new manner. It is said that Christmas was the favorite feast of Francis. We all know that St. Francis was especially fond of the poor and of animals. So in the nativity scenes that are still so popular 800 years later, the poor are represented as shepherds, and the beasts of the field share the stable with the Christ child. Christmas lights are the brightest symbols of Christianity at Christmas time. The tradition of putting out lights at Christmas started very modestly as lighted candles were placed in churches, inside the windows of homes, and even on Christmas trees. Here's a tip for you and your children. If you memorize some of the scriptures about light, you'll never forget the true meaning of Christmas. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Further, Jesus said that believers were to reflect his light. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So the next time you think that Christmas could use a little more Jesus, open your eyes to all of the symbols that pervade our culture everywhere at Christmas time. Today, our courts, governments, and radical secularists are trying to drive Christ out of Christmas. They're trying to take away his birthday. Resist, we must. Like others that tried before them, they too will fail because the light will always pierce the darkness.